Namaste crypto fictionaries and my fellow capitalists. I hope you guys are doing great and I'm back again with a whitelist opportunity for this project and it's called Winter DeFi, okay? It is a DeFi gaming with auto staking rewards uh, project and it's at the pre-sale. Now, I know what you all are thinking, another, you know, rebase token, but hear me out, okay? Auto staking and auto compounding token designed with sustainable high APY rewards and hyper deflationary tokenomics. That's winter token, right? So if you know Sphere, if you know Titano, right? Um, Sphere, because they knew that, you know, auto rebasing couldn't go on forever, right? High APYs cannot go on forever. So they went deflationary. They stopped giving the APYs altogether after a couple of months, if you remember. Titano has a huge problem, right? Uh, with the supply because um, their price really crashed, right? Because they don't know what to do with the huge supply. They can't, they can't burn everything. They can't do anything. So the winter token is a bit different, right? It gives you 100,000 APY, but that only lasts for a couple of months. So how it works is that uh, the first 120 days, right? Which is about three months, right? So you, you'll be getting 100,000 APY. And after that, right, 120 days later, right, after three months, right, it's reduced by one zero. So from 100,000, it becomes 10,000, right? And then after, uh, after another 120 days, right, it becomes 1,000 APY. So it goes on that way until it becomes, right, uh, deflationary, right? So it's a... It's a system, right? They have thought out the system on how to s solve this problem, right? Of, of high supply, okay? And not only that, right? It's also backed by the winter games revenue and the winter DeFi ecosystems that ensures the sustainability and the stability of the winter token, okay? Now, how it works is that they have a winter sustainability fund, right? The VSF, and that serves to achieve price stability and long-term sustainability. It avoids flash crashes and greatly reduces a downside risk. So a part, a portion of these uh, taxes will be taken and be put in, uh, you know, it'll be going into this fund where it's uh, where your rebases are paid off and all that and to avoid the flash crashes. And they also have their winter treasury right where they use the treasury for development right marketing and partnerships it also funds vsf in the event of an extreme price drop so they have a float to protect it from a huge price drop that is important right and the next one is the inferno and inferno is like a burning address right a lot of um, protocols do that when they want to burn their supply so 5% of each buy and 10% of each sell of winter is burned in the inferno. The inferno limits circulating supply and keeps the winter deflationary. Another thing I have to say is that when they send the tokens to the burning wallet, to the burning address, the burning wallet, the tokens are also rebasing there and those rebasing tokens are also being burnt off. The, another thing about this that I have to say is most uh, you know, uh, rebasing token, they, ha they have a huge, huge supply, right? But this project have capped their supply to 1 billion, which I think is very reasonable. So coming down from, uh, you know, a high APY um, a protocol and slowly going deflationary, I don't think it's going to be a big problem for this project, you know? So if they can do it right, if they know how to work it right, I think it's going to be... It, it's not going to be an issue, right? So let's talk about the tokenomics. Yeah, the buy and the sell tax. I know what you're thinking. Yes, it's high. Okay, buy is 15% and sell is 20% tax. Okay, um, let's talk about what it goes to, right? What it goes to. So the 5% um, of your buy tax goes into the VSF, right? And another 5% goes to the treasury and another 5% is burnt, right? And the sell tax also you know, 5% is goes to the VSF and 5% treasury and 10% it goes, is it's burnt, 
but it's not always 1520 right it 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 reduces over a period of time so if you look at the uh, tax life cycle here you can see that after for 120 days it's 1520 right but after that right it becomes 1215 12% uh by of uh, and 15% sell and then after that and three months after that it becomes 10 12 and finally it goes down to 10 10 so finally it will come to 10 sell 10 buy right so i think this is a very um I would say it's high initially but I think over the course of time you know because you have to prevent people from dumping right that the the whole idea about this is people are taking their rebates and just selling off selling off selling off so I want to talk about the tax free sale days right every 2 weeks winter token holders will be able to sell up to 10% of their holdings without paying any sell tax as the sales will be hosted on our website and funded using protocol funds there will be no price drop as well so they're using the protocol funds to uh, buy you know your uh, winter tokens so this is not recorded it's like otc right over the counter so you do otc trade it doesn't affect the drop right because you're not doing it on exchange you're not doing it on pancake swap so this project is based on is built on a bsc right binance smart chain network right so i think it's a good idea to do that where you give an option for people and they're going to cap this as well so not everybody can come and sell on that day so they're going to have a cap as well but it's nice you know where you can sell up to 10% of your holdings without any tax right so i think people will be looking forward for this okay and they are so this whole thing is based on their games right um generating revenue for this uh protocol so this is a very important part of it and one of their games that they are doing right now is the prediction game is something like the prediction game on pancake swap where you choose where you get to bet on the uh price of uh, bnb right so they're going to do something like that where you can guess the price of bnb or winter tokens or whatever and then uh you know you can you can win prizes as in you can make a profit right and it's skill based so it's a curated collection of uh probably fair non custodial and skill based on chain defi games players will be able to play the games from winter games dapp using either winter token or bnb okay so winter games aims to become the de facto standard for on chain defi games and will only host skill based defi games where players can earn profits depending on their skills and not random luck so it's it's not like the you know where in casinos where the house has an edge no this is more of skill based game is more fair in that sense so the game part you know i have not it's not ready yet but of course uh, i have not seen it yet and uh, i think they are going they are still working on it and uh, There's going to be only one game that they're going to launch and uh we will have to wait for the other games to come out okay so their road map right now uh what they have done right is the inception of winter defi website development white paper and community building and now they are in the still in the phase of uh in quarter 3 which quarter 3 is ending already soon is the smart contracts and that and of course the white list sale which is the pre sale and they will be testing their smart contracts and dep and uh auditing they i think they are, i think they are using uh obsidian uh to audit their uh smart contract the prediction game uh deployment phase and uh you know and the stress test right and liquidity lock is for 5 years okay which is good and uh, the public launch so they will be having i'll be i will how be talking about that later right and um then listing on uh coin market cap and coin gecko and all this is in quarter 3 2022 which they have to do it pretty soon right and in quarter 4 then you have all your uh, defi partnerships and games as a service where they i think they will allow other uh p2e games 
to um, win. I mean, uh, to use their token, the win their token, right? So I think I think this is what uh, they are looking at. And um, if you want to talk about the team, they got five core members right now, right? They've got a dev, they've got two uh, community managers, a graphic designer, and a chief product officer, right? So they are intending to use the funds from the pre-sale to expand their team, okay? And um, their chief product officer, right, has management consulting experience for sandbox and games like Rev Racing and all that. So let's talk about the pre-sale. Okay, so Winter DeFi will be offering a whitelist pre-sale as the initial token sale round and after which there will be a public sale round where investors can then participate the offering without any whitelist requirements right so whitelist requirements right now you need to go into their discord and you need to go in and uh, do uh, and grind you know and uh, take part in their social activities i will be giving away five whitelists right so stick around right i'll be telling you how you can get the whitelist okay so the public sale right um details will be released later stage when there's a complete clarity on timeline particulars which i think is at the end of september the pre-sale let's talk about the pre-sale is going to commence on 2nd of september 1 p.m utc and conclude when the hard cap has been achieved or on 5th september at 1 p.m utc for a total duration of 72 hours so they are buy-in price for the pre-sale the pre-sale price is 30 cents BUSD okay per winter token and it will be collected in BUSD right and the hard cap for the pre-sale is $200,000 and the soft cap is $100,000 okay so they're going to use a dynamic system approach which is similar to sphere how sphere was uh, you know was conducted that means that you only can buy a maximum of 5,000 and there is uh, rounds, right? You have to, there, there, it's divided into rounds. So the first round gives you a flat investment cap of 500 BUSD. So the first round, the maximum you can invest is 500. If you want to invest more, you got to wait to the second round, right? It's every, it's every 30 minutes, right? So first round is for 30 minutes, first come, first serve. It gives you a, a maximum of 500 and then round two right it gives you two thousand dollars right and round three it gives you two thousand five hundred dollars okay so but they cannot guarantee that everyone will be allocated more than 500 right the mechanism is intended to assure a position in the pre-sale for ordinary customers while also preventing whales from buying up all the tokens and leaving everyone without an allocation so the benefit of getting into the pre-sale right would be that the minimum possible launch price right is going to be at 0 0.375 cents or 37 and a half cents because they are using this dynamic price discovery model for uh, launch price because they want to see how high it can go right so depending on a lot of factors on the market on you know all these things so um, the minimum they are looking at is that uh about 1.25 x and uh the maximum uh possible launch price is at one dollar okay so it's about 3.33 x right from whitelist price so i'll be putting this uh medium article and all the details on my description box right below and i'm giving away a whitelist five whitelist uh spots right what you need to do is go on my Twitter. You need to be signed up. Uh, you need to be subscribed to my Twitter, to my YouTube, as well as my Telegram channel, right? And when you do that, you go to my Twitter uh, link and tell me why you want this whitelist, okay? And what do you like about this project, okay? Why you want the whitelist and what do you like about this project? And must be signed up for my uh, Telegram, my YouTube, and my um twitter as well so you need to post the proof as well on the twitter comments so i'll give you the link you can post it on the twitter comments and show me the proof right i will give the first i will choose the best five not the first five i will choose uh randomly right the five that i want to give 
the whitelist spots too. Okay, so thank you so much for listening and you have a great day ahead. Namaste.